Hi there, so today I'm going to be doing a purple blue smoky eye look. So hope you guys enjoy it. Bye! First take a primer, Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And you just put it on your top and bottom lip. Take a kind of a light to medium um, violet color. And this is the um, shimmer palette. The 24 color, or the 42 color shimmer palette that I got that comes along with the blush, which I will do a review eventually, maybe. I like it a lot, though, so it's going to be a positive um, review about it. And it'll be one, two, three, four, right there, this purple color. So it's not too light, but it's not too dark, kind of in the middle, I think, I'd say. Alright, so just take a clean brush. Usually I like to go like this and just kind of clean it on my um, hand, the back side of my hand in case. And what I'm going to do is just put this on the ball of my eye. So just right through there. I hope that the light is not um, kind of bleaching the whole colors because it's kind of bright right now. In my living room again. Again. You're going to take a lighter color and you're going to put it to the outer part. This is just a medium brush. And I think I'm going to use this color. It's just kind of a pearly color. Nothing too, um, you know, hard to find. Usually I like to pat the residue on my hands because usually these lighter colors can get a little chalky. So it'll be lighter here at the outer corner. Now you're going to take a kind of a stiffer brush than the one before. And it can be a medium brush also, but this one is going to be for a crease. So it depends on how big your crease is. I just like to use a medium brush like this. And I want to use a deep blue color. So from the left side, go one, two, three. That kind of a royal blue color and you put it the outer edge though so right here i'd say of the outer corner I guess. yeah Take a navy color, just this color right here, so one, two, and that color. And I'm going to put it at the very end, right here, just to give it a more dramatic effect. I'm going to put your head down like that. You can see the shadow when you kind of stretch your forehead up and kind of put your head down. Use this one. So one, two, three, and then two up. So this one right here, this one. It's a cooler tone than the other one that's in the palette. And I'm just gonna kind of add it to this darker one. So kind of making it um, a duo color and kind of blending it inward. So it'll be blue and purple. Repeat, and then put it in all the way. So this is going to be a more dramatic look, I would say. Like that. Now you're going to clean it. So you can take a concealer brush, that's what I usually use, and just take some foundation or concealer. I will probably find a foundation just because it's easier to blend in with my skin tone. So here I just have March shades. LMA Smart Shade in um, light medium, color 200. And I just have concealer brush from um, Bare Essentials. So just take some. Okay, and I'm going to clean it. So what you want is just an angle like that. So just drag it up. Just put it in another place on your arm. I like to use the back of my hand a lot. So you just kind of wipe it off any excess and then do another stroke. So put more foundation on and do another stroke. Wash your hands. 
since the swine flu is going around all, you know, probably best to wash your hands at all times. So it's nice, clean. You see how clean it is? So you can repeat on the other side. And what you can do is just take um, a brush that you usually, if you do have press on powder or any kind of powder you put in your face, just kind of brush onto it so it doesn't, it doesn't have the shiny residue of the foundation and it won't smudge your makeup. And just settle, settle it where you have wiped the um, foundation up. All right, so let's continue. I'm gonna take a really, really dark color. And it's my favorite color. It's called Night Flight. It's black with little blue, navy blue glitter in it. And what you're gonna do is first, just simply blend your eyes with a big fluffy brush. So here I just have a big brush. Just blend the creases. An angled brush, as you can see, and I'll just apply it on the tip. It's a MAC 275, you can see. So just put it on the tip, tap it off. The NARS colors are very pigmented, so you have to be careful when applying onto the brush. Just kind of, if you see what I'm doing, I'm just kind of stretching my skin upward and then tilting my head down a little to find my crease, because my crease is not very defined. Just apply it into the crease. So, as you can see, just applying it into the crease. So now you're going to go back to your original color which is, you use a big fluffy brush, and it's gonna be the light violet color, right here. You're just gonna apply it very lightly between the dark black and your skin, so it's gonna be the edge. Take a clean brush and just start blending everything out. So when you work with darker colors, it might be a little m bit of work, but when it comes out in the end, it's really nice and smoky, and that's what I love. So what I'm going to do is just take this really pretty color. It's really close to my skin tone, so it's not that big of a deal to me. And it's the Honeymoon color from the Lancome um, palette. And just take a clean brush and apply it on my brow bone. It's kind of like, I don't know, maybe a shade or two lighter than my skin color, but you can't even tell. It's not that shimmery, so it will not bother me. We'll just make it look so much more blended. It just blends everything out so good. Oh god, I love it. Oh, it's pretty. Okay, so now you're gonna take the night flight and take a brush. Here I have a Mac 110, and just take the night flight from NARS, pat a little on, and if you want, you can just tap it on the back of your hand a little, because it's very pigmented. You gotta be careful. And I'm not gonna put it on my waterline. I'm just gonna put it right below it, because I wanna put some white in the waterline. And then just, as you go out, just kinda make it thinner. So it's gonna be dark, darker, and thicker in the outer, and then inner is going to be thinner, and yeah, like that. Take the brush with the honeymoon, put some on. You can take off the residue if you want, and just put it right beneath the black. You're going to line your eyes. So what I have here is just um, a Revlon color stick. Carbon black. And I'm just going to I have a white pencil from Rimmel. I'm just going to line the waterline. My tear ducts. And then just take a clean brush and just kind of blend it with a lighter color. I'm just going to use Honeymoon again. That's it. Put your lashes and put mascara on them. And what I have are false just Demi Wispies in the Invisiband Ardell ones. So, I got it today. Kind of excited to try them on.
And I bought um, adhesive lash grip from Ardell, and it's the kind that is, comes out dark. So, just gonna put them on and I'll be back. Alright, so I have already put on the lashes. As you can see, it's really cute. I'm kind of running out of time, so just let's start with the um, contour. And what I'm gonna use is MAC. So this is MAC um, skin, is, skin Finish Shimmer and Medium Natural. And I'm just take the shimmer on top and put it on kind of the top of my cheekbones and then loop it and up. I'm just going to take from the um, blush palette, I'm going to take this kind of bronzy color, put some on and just put it on my cheekbones. Take the same brush. And I'm gonna mix two colors. I'm gonna mix this peachy color right here. And I'm gonna mix this orangey color. And they come together really, really pretty. And then I like to drag it down and out. And then with my large 190 MAC concealer brush, I'm going to take the same shimmer powder from the Skin Finish Mineral and I'm just going to put it on the bridge of my nose. Just kind of pat it and then blend it in. And then I'm just going to add some right here for just, um, I don't know, just a shimmery. What I'm going to put on my lips is first the Revlon Nude Attitude Lipstick. And then I'm going to take my Hello Kitty Cutester and put it on top. This is a look. So, hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching. So, hope you guys enjoy it. Bye. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe.